Hi YouTube. Well, this is my day two post op video. Um, I wanted to do a couple of videos today because I didn't get around to doing them the day of the surgery and day one post op. Basically, because not because I was, um, you know, unable to or too incoherent, although I probably was. Um, but I was in Brisbane and I basically was on holidays, so I really didn't find the time. So with this video, I just wanted to explain my experience of the actual surgery day. Um, I'll just let you have a look now at what I'm working with. Um, excuse me, I'm a little bit bloated from all the medication and you can see my my breasts are quite uh, pointy and swollen but overall I think they look really great and I've got a strap because I went dual plane. Um, okay so basically I wrote down some points that I just wanted to um, go over with you. So the actual surgery day, well the, I had my consult on the Wednesday and we finalized sizes and I went with 360 high profile anatomical furry Brazilian implants. Now these are placed dual plane which is uh, the top of the implant is uh, under some muscle and the bulk of the implant down the bottom is, is out. So it's basically not under, not over, but a little of uh, both. When I met Dr. Harwood for the first time in person, I knew that I had just made the right decision. He was absolutely fantastic, friendly. I had my concerns that I was going too small with 360. Um, he explained to me that because of my issues with the nipple to crease ratio um, what he couldn't make in projection he would do in volume so uh, sorry width so my BWD is 11.5 uh, and the width of my implants is 12.3 um, so that is going to give me uh, a little bit of side boob and some nice cleavage that I didn't have before. Um, so after the consult, um, I basically said to him, look, I'm sorry, I'm ready by going past. Um, I basically said to him that I am nervous I wasn't but I just wanted to get a sedative for the night before and the morning of because I knew probably at that stage that I would be quite nervous he was happy to uh, prescribe me two Valiums which were five milligram each um, and just recommended taking one the night before and of the morning so I'd be nice and relaxed and wouldn't worry about my surgery at all. Um, leading the next day, me and my partner went shopping and then my cousin came to stay with us and we basically just had a really good night watching movies and, and, and staying up. I only took half of a Valium and I went to bed at about one o'clock, not because I couldn't sleep, just because I was so excited to see my cousin. I slept all the way through till about six, six thirty, and I was due to leave at seven. Now our apartment was based basically for if that minutes around the corner from Dr. Harwood's surgery. Um, so I had a fantastic sleep. I woke up really relaxed. Um, I did some stretches before I left just so, you know, I could prepare my body a little bit for what was to come. Um, I did some ab exercises, um, you know, just lifting 
my legs in the air, then slowly bringing them down. I reached right out um, to lengthen my abdominals and, you know, I stretched my legs and things like that. I think it was just a nice little thing to do to get my body physically prepared. I took the whole five milligram Valium before I left. Um, at no point was I nervous. I just wanted to go in there thinking that, you know, I was going in for like Botox or a facial or a massage or something like that. Um, and when I got there, Dr. Harwood sat down right next to me, put his hand on my knee and, and basically went through everything step by step once again, went through all the um, post-operative care and medication. Uh, from that point, I got some Emla on my elbow. I had never had a blood test leading up to this surgery until they asked me to get one. Uh, they check for HIV, Hep B and Hep C. One, I think I was more scared about that than the actual surgery itself. And once I overcame that hurdle, I knew that surgery was going to be a breeze. But I opted to have the EMLA just, you know, to make my surgery completely, you know, pain-free and as easy as possible. Uh, the ladies, Peggy and Barbara, that were on uh, that morning with me were fantastic. They, you know, were gentle in their demeanour and were really friendly and upbeat and I got changed into my gown and I was, and then I got put into the theatre room. Oh, by the way, when I went for my consult, um, Dr. Harwood showed me the theatre and the recovery room and how everything would go on the day just so I was completely aware because um, I'm the type of person that gets scared of the unknown. So leading up to, I knew exactly what was going on. Um, so I hopped into the theatre room and he took some photos of me and then he drew drew the little lines and measurements on me and showed me how my implants would sit and what sort of, uh, you know, where my nipple nipples would sit and where my cleavage would be. He then grabbed my hand just in such a fatherly, loving way, um, like a best friend almost, and led me over slowly to the table. And I think, you know, he was quite surprised with how relaxed I was, yet he treated me as if, you know, this was the first, um, you know, biggest thing that's ever happened to me. Of course it is, but I was really relaxed probably from the Valium. I laid down and he asked Peggy to put the tap, the cannula, into my elbow because she was the best at it. And as she was about to do it, he gently pushed my head to the side so I wouldn't look, um, which I thought was really sweet, and he held my hand. And I couldn't feel it. It was a little pin prick. And then next thing I know, you know, um, the, the surgeon sitting right next to me and he's about to put in the first lot of goodies that he refers to it to, to most patients. Um, between the first lot of goodies and the Valium, like I was ready for a really good sleep. I was keen. I remember looking up and, and as he was putting it in, which he did really slowly so you couldn't feel um, any pressure in your veins whatsoever, he gently patted my head, you know, and just made me feel so relaxed and nice. And I was actually out after the first lot of goodies. And then they were trying to speak to me and I I remember I, I could hardly string a sentence together and I'm thinking, crap, this is going to be one of those moments where I'm supposed to be out but I know everything that's going on. But they actually hadn't even put me out yet. Um, then I could hear the nurse asking about my tattoos and I'm, and I muttered something and they said, okay, now we're going to spray you down and put the sheet over you. And then I was asleep and then I woke up and I could feel, um, Dr. Harwood cutting around here, cutting the sheet to make the area. 
and I looked up at him and he winked at me and the next minute I was out and it felt like I had a couple of minutes of a dream and then I woke up again and I muttered something, I think it was along the lines of, um, am I done or what are you doing? And he just said, oh, we're just putting the dress dressings on you now and I could feel them literally putting the dressings on me. And then the next thing I know, um, I'm being ushered into the recovery room and I'm sitting down on the recliner. And I was just so happy the whole time. It was just really gentle, the sleep in and the sleep out. It was actually fun. And I, I go over it in my head a lot that, you know, I just cannot believe how fantastic the whole thing was. Um, and then I had a little bit of water and uh, uh, some jelly beans and then next minute the nurse whispered in my ear, Greg's here, and that was my partner. And he walked in and I saw him and my heart rate went up and you could hear it on the monitor next to me. And the the nurses were saying, oh, that's really cute, because as soon as he walked in, my heart just, just started going boom, 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 boom. And he sat with me and I'd ask him a question and then five minutes later I'd ask him again and he would laugh at me and say, you know, you already asked me that. And, but I just felt great and I didn't feel sick. Oh, and um, before he put me to sleep, he said, look, I'm just going to give you one of the anti-nausea dissolvable tablets for your tongue which is what he prescribed you afterwards but he knew um, what a big deal it was to me not to be sick after surgery um, so he gave me one beforehand and I woke up in no pain didn't feel sick I was just over the moon it was the best thing ever um, and then my partner took me home and I was just so relieved and almost sad that it was over and I couldn't have asked for such a better day. All right, well, I'm going to leave this video here and I'm going to do a video of my day one post-op experience and also go on to tell you a little bit more about the end of the day that I had after surgery. See you soon.